Come back tomorrow so I can hurt you again. <laughs> Let's compare. In other words, we want to compare what's going on in church today. No. That men claim it's the anointing that's doing it. God spoke to them to do it. And God said to them. I have met people that have told me I don't care what the Bible said. I know what God said to me. You talk like a fool. God is the word. So how is God dealing with you so great that you don't care what the Bible said? We live by what the Bible said. Am I right? And if we live by what the word of God said, how is it? I can have the Holy Ghost and say, I don't care mm -hmm. what the Bible says. Yeah. You got to be a product of hell. That's right. A child of the devil. That's right. All right. Let's compare men tradition with biblical principle. Amen. Amen. Let's look at the teaching of deacons. Amen. Given the book of Acts. In the book of Acts. Church tradition said that the apostles laid hands on seven men and ordained them to be seven deacons. That's right. And that's what they said? Amen. Let's see the Bible ever teach that. In the book of Acts, chapter 6. Let's see where these men, seven deacons. I, I, I want to clean the fish real good because the scales are thick. That's right. Hey! That's right. All right. Acts chapter 6, we're starting at verse 1. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, uh -huh. there was a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Yes. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Mm -hmm. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them. Then what? And said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God in certain. Yeah. And therefore, brethren, wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Look ye out among you seven deacons of honest report. Look ye out among you seven men of honest report. What? Full of the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. They got to have what? Full of the Holy Ghost. No, they got to be the bishop's family. Full of the Holy Ghost. They got to be the bishop's son. Full of the Holy Ghost. They got to be the bishop's nephew. Full of the Holy Ghost. You see, I'm against family churches. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Spirit is thick of them blood. Yeah. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Full of the Holy Ghost. Full of what? Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. And wisdom. And wisdom. Whom we, whom we may appoint over this. All right, let's see who we selected real quick. Now in Acts chapter 6, now we're at verse 5. I want you to pay attention who was chosen, and then I'm going to go to the scripture to show you what they were. That's right. The so called apostolic, the Catholics, the Protestant, the Pentecostal, the non denominations, every last religious so called Christian group says these were the first seven deacons of the Bible. That's what they've been saying for years. Amen. We're going to see were they deacons at all, at all. right here. That's right. All right, we're going to school tonight. Let's have it. Acts chapter 6, now we're at verse 5. Mm -hmm. And the same pleased the whole multitude. Then what? And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith. Pay attention. They chose Stephen, a man full whom some pronounce Stephen. Stephen. Full of faith. And of the Holy Ghost. Real quick. And yeah. Philip. And Prochorus. Come on, son. And Nicanor and Timon. Uh -huh. And Parmenius and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Yes. And they set before the apostles. They brought them before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands the on them. The apostles laid hands on them because they had to ordain them. And the word of God increased. The word of God increased. Now, what you mean the word of God increased? After the apostles laid hands on those seven, they, those seven were sent out by the apostles to bring the word of God to the people. That's right. That's what it means, the word of God increased. More men was added to bring the message. That's right. Now, the Bible point out Stephen and Philip. And Philip. Now, Philip was one of those seven, correct? Amen. And the apostles laid hands on them and sent them out, correct? Amen. Yes. Let's, let's see what Philip was. Now in the book of Acts chapter 21. Let's see, was he a deacon or something else? That's right. All right, follow me. Acts chapter 21 and we're at verse 8. Listen. And the next day, we that were of Paul's company de de departed and came unto Caesarea. We that was of Paul's company departed and came to Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip. We entered into the house of Philip. The evangelist. No, the deacon. Philip the evangelist. No, he was the deacon. The evangelist. Was he part of the seven? Which was one of the seven. And what was his office? The evangelist. And where was he at? Which was one of the seven. And what was his office? The evangelist. Evangelist. When Paul, when, when the apostle laid hands on him, what was it? Philip the evangelist, which was one of the seven. Amen. 
Amen. Bible ain't never said nowhere. Amen. It was seven deacons in the church. No. Bible has never put a number no. on how many deacons was in the church. That's right. Were they deacons? Yes. How many? I don't know. I got to stop where the Bible stop. That's right. That's right. But the Bible says Philip, Philip the evangelist. was an evangelist. Which was one of the seven. And he was one of the seven, which shows me when the seven came before the apostles and they laid hands on him, he was one of the seven that was ordained by the apostles. And what was it? The evangelist. Which was one of the seven. Amen. We got to go back to the drawing board. That's right. That's right. This is what I mean by hand me down preaching. Some preachers are innocent victims Hallelujah. because they are students of bad teaching. That's right. And their bishop became a student yes. of bad teaching. Yes. And their bishop became a student of bad teaching. That's right. That's right. Have you not been told that it's five minor prophets and five major? Have you ever heard that Tony Jack? Yes. Bible ain't never said nowhere right. that it was five minor prophets. Or five major. No way. No way. Bible just said he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets yes. since the world was. Amen. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Comparing. Comparing spiritual things. Glory to God. We're spiritual. comparing Amen. spiritual things. Spiritual. We want to see all these things scriptural. Amen. Have you not heard that when Jesus come, Gabriel going to blow the trumpet? Amen. And the dead going to rise? Amen. Bible ain't never said Gabriel gonna blow nothing. Nothing. In the book of Thessalonians. Nowhere in the Bible did it ever say Gabriel will blow anything. That's right. Let's see what it says. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Why would Gabriel blow something? He's not the resurrection. That's Jesus said, I'm the resurrection. That's right. And I'm the life. That's right. Let me say so. Amen. All right, follow me. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and we're at verse 15. Listen at this. For this we say unto this we say you, to by you by the word of the Lord. By the word of God. And we which are alive and remain <laughs> unto the coming of the Lord <laughs> shall not prevent them which are asleep. Yeah. For the Lord himself. No, Gabriel himself. For the Lord himself. For Jabril himself. For the Lord Himself. What the Lord Himself gonna do? Shall descend from heaven with a shout. Hold it! Yes. The church said, This is the shout. You don't shout with your feet, you shout with your mouth. That's you right. dance with your feet. That's right. David danced before the Lord. That's right. Yeah. For the Lord Himself. The Lord Himself shall descend from heaven. With what? With a shout. And what how, what, how else did it describe that voice? With the voice of Glory the Lord. God. Why did the Bible say his voice gonna sound like an archangel? Archangel means chief angel. That's right. And the chief angel is God. That's right. That's right. There's not a greater or superior angel than God Himself. That's right. Someone said God ain't no angel. God is an angel. Who you think Manoah saw? That's right. First they said it was a man. Then they said it was an angel. Then they say, we have seen God, God, and we shall surely die. That's right. All right. For the Lord himself. The Lord himself. He shall descend from heaven with a shout. He from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And what else is voice going to sound like? And with the trump of God. His voice going to sound like a trumpet. With the trump of God. And what's going to happen? And the dead in Christ the shall rise. The dead first. in Christ shall rise when? First. Now, I'm yeah. dealing with a, a teaching going around the world now. Telling me the, the resurrection passed already. No Who concerning the Men are writing me all around the world. One man sent me a box with about 20 books and asked me, please read all of them so you can realize the resurrection passed. My Lord. If God didn't say it passed, it ain't passed. That's right. And if the resurrection passed, ain't going to church no more. That's right. I'm quitting tonight. Amen. If the resurrection passed, what are we going to church for? That's right. Amen. The Bible says, look up for your redemption, draw down. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2 says, verse 18, What is it? Who concerning the truth. Who concerning the truth. They have error. They have error. Saying. Saying. saying the resurrection is past already. You see, you can't come with something new. That's right. Huh? That's right. That old lying spirit been around before I was born. Been around back then, wasn't it? We're comparing spiritual things. Spiritual. We're spiritual. Glory to God. Amen. Have you not heard it that Paul died at Nero's chopping block? Yeah. You ever heard that? Amen. Bible ain't never said how Paul died. Mm -hmm. Paul's death 
have never been recorded in the Bible. That's right. Where did you learn it from? Cemetery school. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Having not been taught that Peter was crucified head down yeah. and feet up, yeah. and Peter said, I wasn't worthy to be crucified like my Lord. Yeah. Liar! Amen. The way Peter died have never been documented in the Bible. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's the tradition Amen. of men. Amen. It's not the tradition of scripture. scripture. Having not been taught. After the last prophet Malachi died, there was 400 years of darkness. The Bible ain't said how many years it was. No. The Bible just said in the book of Zechariah, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But at evening time, it shall be light. How many years? The Bible didn't say. Comparing. Comparing spiritual glory to God. God. Glory to God. Amen. You know the Bible undo a lot of teachings right. that we, we, we many of us used to do. Yeah, that's right. Amen. That's right. They want to compare. Amen. 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 Have you not had the preachers tell the women or appoint women to be missionaries? Mm. Yes. You don't have a woman in the Bible that wore the title missionary. That's right. Not one. That's right. Where did it come from? Men tradition. Yes. Nice. Well, Pastor Jennings, what should you call the women? Fifth chapter, First Timothy. I show you what to call the old women and the young ones. First Timothy, chapter five. I'm gonna show you in the Bible what to call the old women and the young ones. That's right. And the Bible ain't never called them missionary. Right. And if the Bible didn't call them that, who gave you the authority to call? Them? Amen. Am I right? First Timothy. Five. What did he say? First Timothy five and we're at verse two. Listen. The elder. Give women. chapter and verse. Give chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter five and we're at the second verse. You better begin at verse one. We'll begin at verse one. All right. Rebuke not an elder. Rebuke not an elder. And treat him as a father. And treat him as a father. And the younger men as brothers. Wait. What should we call the younger men? And the younger men as brothers. We call the younger men brothers. The elder women. Women. The elder women are the mothers in the church. The elder women. What should we call the elder women? As mothers. No, a preacher called them sweetheart. The elder women as mothers. Sugar pie. Mothers. Baby die. Mothers. It ain't no preacher have no business giving no sisters a pet name in church. That's right. That's right. You ain't got no business being so close to no woman in church that you give her a pet name. That's right. Am I right? Yes, There's order in God's church. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The elder women. What should we call the elder women? As mothers. Missionaries. Mothers. Bishops. Mothers. No, call them pastors. The elder women as mothers. Call them evangelists. Mothers. Oh, the elder women as mothers. Hallelujah. Do you hear this? The elder women as mothers. First ladies. Mothers. First ladies. Mothers. First ladies. Son. Mothers. Amen. 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 If there's any pastor's wives here and the members of that church calling you the first lady, they're lying to you. That's right. First lady is dead. Her name is Eve. Amen. She was the wife of Adam. That's right. You ain't no first lady. No. My wife ain't the first lady and my family ain't the first family. Like I said last night, this ain't the White House. This is God's church. That's right. Amen. Politics and church don't mix. The Bible says in Leviticus 10.10, 10, put a difference between holy and unholy. And if we are holy people, the only thing that governs the church is the holy word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I have no interest in nobody's tradition, nobody's personal view. I don't care about nobody's personal feeling. The only thing I'm interested in is what's in that book. The elder women. What should we call the elder women? As mothers. Mothers. And what about the younger? The younger as sisters with all purity. All right, wait a minute here. Glory to God. Wait a minute. When, when, when the younger women are called what? Sisters. And when we call them sisters, what got to be behind that statement? With all purity. That means when a brother or a preacher call a young woman sister, right. you can't have no motives behind it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got to call her sister. And how your mind and heart got to be with all purity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When you look at her, greetings, sister. <laughs> yes, yes. Am I right, I said? That's right. Preacher, the preacher ain't got no business commenting on your weight, whether you lose or whether you gain. He ain't got no business keep hugging you, rubbing you on your back like he's trying to burp a baby. He ain't got to keep filling all over your arm. Put your hands in your pocket. Amen. Bishop, fill me all over. Amen. Are you listening? 
That's why preachers hate me because I take their fun away. Amen. And I use the Bible to do it. That's That's it. it. Amen. There's order in the church order. And the churches are going to hell tonight Because they kicked the order of God out Bishop run the church today Amen. God's supposed to run the church That's right. We're supposed to represent God Who's the head of the church Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when you do it like the Bible said, you may end up at odds with your father. Oh yeah. You may end up at odds with your brother. That's right. And you may end up at odds with the board of elders. Yes. That's right. Because this is above tradition. Amen. I'm comparing Holy Ghost tradition with God with main tradition. That's right. Now we that have the Holy Ghost, I mean the real thing that they got on the day of Pentecost, it is in us to lead to the Holy Ghost. That's Hey, right. when you receive the Holy Ghost, it's in you to lead to God, that's right. and it's in you to fight that which is not according to the Word of God. And the moment you fight that which is a, which is not of God, they say you mean, you're rebellious, you're stubborn, you're hardhead. Preachers tell you, well, just 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 do what I said. Believe it because I said. Who are you? I ain't gonna believe nothing because you said. I'm gonna believe it if God said. And if God didn't say it, you ain't got the authority to say it. Come on back to Bible. England, England, glory to God. Come on back. Thank God. Come on back to Bible. You're not gonna come on back to Bible and give your Bible to someone else so they can use it. Amen. Come on, Sam. Comparing spiritual things. Hallelujah. Comparing spiritual things. With have, spiritual. have you not heard that there are five minor prophets and five major? Can you hear that? Yes. Bible and said it was major or minor prophets. Amen. Never did. Glory. I said it never did. Amen. Have you not heard that on the day of Pentecost, Glory. 120 Shabbat. was in the upper room? They said 120 was filled with the Holy Ghost. They make it emphatic. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible didn't say it was 120. In the book of Acts. Follow me in your Bible. Yes, yes. In the book of Acts. That's why you often hear me say over the air, yes. pay attention to the language of the Bible. Yes. To what the Bible said. That's right. Because the Bible, listen, in Revelation 22, Glory. 18, the apostle John, son of Zebedee, brother of James, Holy Ghost said to him, I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the pledge that are written in the book. So God don't allow us to add anything. Right. God don't allow us to take anything away. Right. We got to leave it just like it says. Yes, the Bible right. did not say it was 120 exact. Right. Glory. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Acts chapter 1. A lot of teaching must be redone. Amen. All right. In the book of Acts chapter 1 and at verse 15. Yes. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and, and said the number of names together were about 120. No, it was 120. Were about 120. No, it was 120. About 120. If it says about, that means an estimated number. That's right. When you say it was, you make it emphatic in the Bible, didn't it? That's right. About. Someone said, but Pastor Jenner, that, that shouldn't matter. Give me Revelation 22, beginning at verse 16. I, Jesus, send my angel to testify unto the churches these things that I am the root. And the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say come. The spirit and the bride say come. And let him that and hear let say him come. that hear say come. And let him that is a thirsty And let come. him that's thirsty come on. And whosoever will. Whosoever will. And take the water of life free. And what? For I testify. Uh oh, Jesus talking. I testify. This is Revelation 22, 18. I testify, meaning I bear witness. Unto every man. Unto who? Every man. Every man. That got every man in the world. That's right. Every man, I don't care if you king, prince, duke, earl, trash collector, I don't care what you are. I testify as hey! every man. Every man! That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. That's right. If any man. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. If any man. If any man. Shall add unto these things. Yes. God shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. All right. And. And. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophet. Have you noticed the Holy Ghost keeps saying, if any man. If he keeps using the term, any man, any man, any man. You know why? God ain't impressed with nobody. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yes. 
God don't care who you are. He know you ain't bigger than him. Amen. You hear what I'm telling you? And if any man. And God don't care how much money you have. You see, he knows he'll soon kill you. You'll leave it behind. That's right. But who can kill him? Right. Huh? That's right. Bible says in the book of Job that God is higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. It is written. God said that if I cut you off and shut you up, who can hinder him? That's right. All right. Huh? That's All right, son. And if any man shall take away any from man the shall take of away of the prophecy, words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part. Wait a minute, Gino Jennings is gonna do it. God shall take away. No, Gino Jennings. God shall take away. I had one man write me. Why is it you always gotta go to the Bible for something? Can't you bring your own opinion? No. Oh, no. <laughs> That's Hallelujah. That's right. My God, man, I hide in the Bible. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. He sang that song in the word of God. I have a hiding place. I hide right in the Bible. But the Bible said, God is our refuge. That's right. yes. That's right. Come on, son. God shall take away his part out of the book of life. And what? And out of the holy city. All right. And from the things which are written in this book. Compare it. Comparing spiritual things. Spiritual things. With spiritual. All right. Let's see the officers in the church. Mm. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. 12, 12, 28, and then Ephesians, 4, 11. Is everybody all right? Yes. Follow me in your Bible. Glory to God. We're going to compare what the church have today with what's in the Bible. That's right. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and we're at verse 28. All right, Wills. And God had set some in the church, first apostles, Secondarily, Wait a minute. God had said so. Some folks say ain't no apostles now. If ain't no apostles now, there ain't no church. That's right. Because God said he set them in there. That's right. And the Bible ain't never said he took them out. No. no. What did he say there? And God had set some in the church. What? First apostles. No. First junior apostles. First apostles. Amen. No, junior apostle. First apostle. Oh, yeah. Secondarily prophet. No, junior prophet. Secondarily prophet. Have you noticed a lot of juniors are popping up in churches? Yes. 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 Have you noticed that? Yes. Yes. Junior bishops? Yes. yes. Junior pastors? Yes. yes. Junior deacons? Yes. yes. You are a junior liar. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Church tradition. Yes. Amen. Not Bible. No. Junior ministers born. Where do you get this trash from? Yes. Where did it come from? Yes. Tradition of men. Right. The Bible speak plain. What he? Wait a minute. What did God do? Where did He put him? God had set some in the church. He put him where? In the church. God put him where? In the church. Now, if God put it in here, what bishop could come along and add to it? That's right. After you make the offices that God didn't do. That's right. Where did you get this authority from? That's junior right. bishop. Junior elders. Junior evangelist, junior pastor, where did this come from? Hallelujah. Father is the senior bishop and son is the junior bishop. That's a senior liar and a junior liar. That's right. That's right. That's right. And who would have a problem with this preaching but a hypocrite? I'm trying to point you back to Bible. I don't want tradition. Tradition is destroying the church. Don't you know if we're the people of God, a sinner should not be able to condemn what we believe? When a sinner asks us, well, where's your belief in the Bible? You're supposed to be able to go in here. Not make something up in your opinion? That's right. That's why when I debate men, I lock them in the Bible. Amen. Huh? Amen. They get start running off at their mouth. I'm, I'm come on back to Bible. That's it. Because I know what they're saying is not in here. Right. And then I buck it to them. Alarm! Come on back to Bible. That's right. I let you talk. Come on back to Bible. That's right. <laughs> Your opinion don't mean nothing to God because God says my thoughts are not your thoughts. Amen. And I'm, I'm encouraging the preachers of the world. You are responsible for what you're telling your congregation. And you should love your congregation enough to tell them what the Bible says. If you don't love them that much, get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Hallelujah. If you don't love them enough to tell them what the Bible said, get out the pulpit. I have preached right. I didn't come out of sin to be told lies. I come out of sin to learn the truth. Do it to God and keep my soul out of hell. 
I have preached righteousness. Do you hear the Bible? In the book of Psalms 40 and at verse 9. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 9. I have preached righteousness. Do you hear the prophet? Glory to God. Hallelujah. I have preached righteousness. I have preached what's right. In the great congregation. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Do you hear this? I have preached right. I have preached what is right. In the great congregation. In the great congregation. I have not refrained my lips. I oh have not refrained my lips, O oh Lord. Thou knowest. Glory to God. Amen. We as ministers, do you know we should be able to say that same thing? That's right. That's right. What's right? That's it. Not your opinion. That's right. Not what you've learned from some other fella that is not in here. That's right. That's right. I have not hid thy righteousness. Within my heart. Like most churches have what they call Sunday school. Think of it. They got the same little paperback books that the Catholics got, that the Protestant got, that the non-nominational got, that the Episcopalian got, that the Baptist got. The same paper books. Someone say you have Bible school? We're in it right now. That's right. That's right. We don't use the paperback books put together by a bunch of sinners. No, no, no. We use what's written right here. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Back in 1 Corinthians 12 and at verse 28. Listen. And God had set some in the church. What? First apostles. First apostles. Second daily prophets. Second prophets. Thirdly teachers. Thirdly teachers. After that miracle. After that miracle. Then gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. Helps. Helps. Governments. Governments. Diversities of tongues. Diversity of tongues. Are all apostles. No. Amen. He's asking a question. Are all apostles? No. no. Come on and say, well, prove all the not apostles. Go back to the very first verse you read. God had said some. No, all. Some. Right there. That destroys that everybody's not the boss. That's right. Because he said what? Some God had said some. In some, the not all. Yeah. 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 Some in the church. Yeah. Now, what is an apostle? An apostle is one that God called, God sent, yeah. God anointed, God made, and God taught. Yeah. He have authority from authority to represent authority. Yeah. God gave him a divine ability to go into the scriptures, open up, break it down to make all men see what the fellowship of the mystery that was hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. He's a biblical technician. Amen. He fulfilled every capacity of ministry. Yeah. Someone said an apostle do that? Yes. An apostle is an evangelist also. Why? Because he's told to go into all the world. Yes. An apostle is a pastor. Why? Because he's a shepherd. He's sent to lead. Right. Apostle also is a bishop. The word bishop means one that has the oversight. Hallelujah. He, Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. he fulfilled every capacity Hallelujah. of ministry. That's why he's able to teach them innocent Hallelujah. and show them their job. And if they come lacking in their job, he's able to put them back on track and tell them, no, this is what you're supposed to do according to what's written here. That's right. Yes, amen. It ain't no man can jump up and say, God called and made me to be an evangelist. You's a liar. That's a liar. Let's see how evangelists are made according to the Bible. That's right. You see, I love to deal with Bible, not emotion. That's right. And let's see what how Timothy became an evangelist according to what's written in the Bible. Timothy ain't never go around and say, well, God called and sent me to be an evangelist. No, he didn't. No. First Timothy, Second Timothy chapter 4. You see, I believe the way a man is made got to be in the Bible. That's Not the stuff that people make up. They woke up in a dream and, or they got a calling from their windshield wipers. Amen. <laughs> You know, when your wife make a kind of noise, and all of a sudden they see Jesus in it. Go preach, go preach, go <laughs> preach, go preach. Now I don't want to hear that. Okay. <laughs> no. Amen. Amen. Listen. Second Timothy Lord. chapter 4. We're starting at verse 1. Amen. I charge thee before I God. I charge thee. Before God. And you had the apostle Hallelujah. Paul teaching Timothy. That's right. Telling him, I charge you. I charge you. Before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. shall judge the quick and the dead. What did he tell Timothy to do? Preach the word. No, preach theology. Preach the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When a man minister, his sermon should not be written out on pals of paper. No, 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 no. Or he's up on the pulpit with the iPad or computer. That's right. Read his sermon off. That's right. If I were used for a text, uh, the bumblebee and me. <laughs> now, that's his preacher's voice. Listen, your voice up here should be the same voice you have down there. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But they get the preacher voice. Well, well, uh, when you see the, mm, the bumblebee, then you, uh, I mean, what's the matter? You sound like someone that's constipated, you know, all messed up on the inside. Am I right? <laughs> After Paul said, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. When you find preachers got to change their voice when they come up here, they're not preachers, they are entertainers and performers. 
Real preacher, same way he's up here. He's out there. That's why a preacher should not have an organ playing behind him when he's supposed to be preaching. That's right. You don't need no music when you're preaching. For what? Then when the organ switch keys, you switch keys. Amen. How is it that your spirit, the spirit of God, is directed by an organ? That's right. Pour not out words.